you have a new product, a new idea, the best way is to proceed for customer validation. You need to know that you have the right product at the right price for the right customer. If you have that, then everything you need to do, getting a patent, building the product, sales organizations, whatever, all of that will come. But if you do not have customer validation in advance, then more than likely all of your efforts will lead to failure. And basically the idea is that you spend the minimal amount of money developing the minimum product in order to have it validated and tested by the customer. That way, if the customer says, I'd like something different, you haven't spent all of your money and all of your time based upon a product that you think the customer really wants, when in fact, you don't know. My opinion doesn't matter. Your opinion doesn't matter. It's the customer's opinion that matters. And when you have that done, then you can bring in other people to assist you for product development. You can get your product patented and you can proceed. But why spend the money? Why spend the time unless you've done that initial first program in advance? Is that I focus on looking at the entire project. I want to know the people involved and I want to know the idea that is being presented because my focus is not on selling a service like website development or product development or accounting or, or uh, patent law. My service is that I need the client to understand that there's a scientific method to determine the validity of a customer's idea. When you have an, an established business, you start off with an idea. That idea, because the business is established, must have received some customer validation. Maybe a lot of customer validation. However, over time, customers change. It may be that your product has changed without you necessarily becoming aware of it. As an independent, objective person, consultant if you will, my job is to look over everything and see where the changes occur between where the plan was and where the actual activity is today. And only that way, by looking at it in a holistic approach, can you really see what's missing and then provide salient suggestions so that the owners can make, make informed decisions on how they want to proceed to solve them. In working with a new client, I want them to provide me with as much information as they can in advance so that I can prepare and make our first meeting as effective as possible. Because parenthetically, oftentimes it doesn't take more than an hour or two to be able to refocus thinking so that people can get back on track, if you will. Uh, I am a sole practitioner and I desire to be that way. I enjoy the opportunity to work with people on a one-on-one -on -one basis, to listen to what their concerns are and to work with them to come up with actionable solutions to their business problems. Because I'm a sole practitioner, I must also have, and I do have, access to a cadre of experienced individuals to provide virtually any type of business service to the client as needed, when needed.